Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to another vlog, another day. We're at the flooring company again. Getting regular work for these now, I think. They're happy with the way I'm working. They're happy with the way I'm getting the job done. I did um, a week's night shifts for them last week. I'm going to do another video about that because I've been asked to compare night shifts to day shifts. So I'm going to do that in another vlog. This vlog I've been nominated for something, something good. So I'm going to go through that later on when I have a break. Um, but we're in Charlie Town Centre at the moment. I got asked what it's like delivering to town centres and high streets and if it's scurry. It's not, it's not really, it's just really easy to get lost. I got given the wrong address again for that company. And when I Google Maps it, Google Maps didn't even have um, an address for it either. So I just got out and went for a walk, went for a walk around to try and find it. Finally found it and it was hid back in between two buildings. Crazy. But they had a roll of vinyl and a coil. It just says coil, whatever coil is. We've only got five drops left, so it should be a pretty easy day. We're going to Leyland now, and then another one in Leyland. And then Blackpool, Longridge, Burnley. Yeah, Longridge, Burnley, Blackpool. Should be a pretty easy day, eh? What time are we on now? Ten past nine, quarter past nine. We're on now, and we've got five left, so should be too hard, should it? We've had a good weekend. I had my kids this weekend. Um, I did work Friday night, so my mum picked them up and took them to my house, and then Alex watched them overnight. Um, played loads of games, ate loads of junk food, promoting healthy eating. Yeah, healthy eating, baby. I have decided to keep all my stuff on one channel for me. Everything that I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it all on one channel. I've seen another trucking vlogger. She is a woman though. I can't remember her name. And she does everything on one channel and it works well for her. Some videos have got a lot of views. Some have only got a few. So, you know, if you see stuff you don't want to watch, you just don't click it. Do you like my questions and answers videos? Some people aren't interested in them. But I do them because I enjoy making them. I actually do enjoy just answering your questions. If you've ever got any questions, I do I do cut them out and put them into a folder on my computer and leave them there. So if you've ever got any questions, ask away. Ask me anything you want. If I don't answer it in the chat, then I'll probably I'll probably do a video on it when I get round to doing my next one. Um, I didn't get through all of the questions because it was just going on for too long. But I've got a few more. I've got a few more in the folder to get through for next time but yeah I do enjoy making them videos so I will keep making them and I'm just gonna put everything I'm gonna put everything all on this channel but I do need to save up for a camera I, I want a, I want a proper 4k camera so I'm saving I'm gonna start saving up for one of them as of now and there's something else that I'm gonna be doing that I'm not telling you about because I like surprises I like surprising people that I'm going to start very, very soon. And I think I'm actually starting it with a subscriber. I'm actually starting it with a mate that lives around the corner from me. So I will be vlogging that. So yeah, it's all it's all go, go, go for my channel. Um, I think 2020 is going to be a good year. You know, it's not just going to be about HTV vlogging. It's going to be about all sorts of stuff. All sorts. If I pick up any new hobbies on my travels... I will be vlogging about them. So, what were I saying? Oh, Rocket Rocket League. Rocket League on Nintendo Switch. How many, how many of you have all played? How many of you all play that with your kids? Because my kids are obsessed with it. And they love it. And they're so good. And it's so annoying. Because I am I am competitive. That's why I stopped playing on the Xbox and whatnot. Ages ago. Because I, was, I just used to get really mad at it. Because I'm that competitive. 
but they're so good. They like go up in the air and psh, 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 and spin and hit the ball and stuff, and it's just like what? I'm stuck on floor, and can't go anywhere, and they're just psh, like oh, whatever. But yeah, it's been a it's been a really good weekend. Tiring. I've still not caught up on my sleep from the night shifts. Um, I promised the kids that Saturday morning I'd get up with them. So I got home at like three o'clock and got up with kids at seven. They, were, they really wanted to see me. They were so eager to see me. So I got up with them. Um, Gracie's not so good again. Again. She's got all gunk in her eyes and she's all bunged up. So me and Mrs are on couch again. So we don't disturb her. And sleeping on the couch is just so uncomfortable. So we're not getting proper night's sleep there. But other than that, all is well, everything's fine and dandy. I hope you're all okay. I'm still getting messages about my depressions video. Depression video. Which I'm grateful for. If anyone still wants to talk to me about depression or anything like that, feel free to get in touch with me. You know what you can do? You know what you can do. So let's flip you around give you some driving footage and I will get back with you guys in a little bit talk to you later Three deliveries done, three left, and we've been given a collection via text message to do. Happy days, 10 o'clock. Let's crack on. What's going on? How we doing? Three drops down, three left. Ah, you know that, because I've just told you. Um, we're going to Blackpool now. It's a 50 minute drive from here to Blackpool. I thought they was all going to be really close together again today, because the, uh, the first three half. Once I got into um, Charlie, they were all like within two mile of each other. So, yeah, I've got a, a, a decent enough drive. Just want to just have a little bit of a, a little bit of a bitch. Yeah, forget it, we'll tell it what it is. I'm gonna have a little bit of a bitch. Now, I do appreciate this. I really do appreciate it, but I'm gonna ask nicely if you'll stop pestering Luke C about me joining the the, uh, the Road Legends. I do appreciate it, you know, putting me into the same category as them, you know, and Luke has said that I do good content, which I appreciate from him because he is the most subscribed to YouTube truck vlogger in the UK. And I'm not. There you go. He has said that I do good content, so I do appreciate it, but I am staying on my own. I'm staying on me Todd as me, Dee Dee. I don't want to, you know, piggyback anyone for subscribers. 
when Jenko gave me a shout out, I really did appreciate it. But for about two weeks after that, the amount of messages I got saying, you're only big because Jenko shouted you out. You're only successful because Jenko gave you a shout out. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, I'm back. So, I've just uh, been on the phone to my missus and my mum. Not at the same time though. <laughs> That'd be weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I think what I, 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 you know what my memory's like. You know, I'm, I am a bit numb. Um, I think what I was saying is, yeah, about two weeks after Jenko gave me a shout out, I think I was already on about three and a half thousand subscribers then. And um, oh, that guy's got a dog in his uh, in his truck, and he nodded at me. <laughs> I don't think he knows me. I think he was just being polite. Um, yeah, we're already on about three and a half thousand subs, I think, when Jenko gave me a shout out. And my subscriber count didn't really change from the norm. It didn't go up any any extra. But that's by the by, you know, I do appreciate Jenko, you know, giving me a shout out. It's nice that he does, you know, um, what's the word? Acknowledge new vloggers. You know, he give early one as well. Um, and I, like I said, like I was saying, I, I was grateful for that. But at the end of the day, I didn't want people saying, "Oh, you're only you're only growing because of Jenko." You know, my channel's consistently growing, as is probably everybody's. But it's consistently going up by you know 50 to 100 subscribers a day, which is awesome. You know, and I'd like to think that I'm doing that on my own. And I don't want to be like part of the road legends and say something stupid because I'll guarantee I'll say something that offends people at some point or other because that's just what I do you know I like I like being honest I like being up front um, and I want to differ my content as well I don't just want to do HTV vlog and I want to do I want to do everything I want to be a vlogger not just a HTV vlogger or a HG vlogger I want to do everything so although I do appreciate you're, you're saying like oh you should join the road legends and all that I have no interest whatsoever in joining the road legends um, I don't know what, what will happen in the years to come I don't know can't say but as of now and for the future I am happy being on my own doing my own thing where if I mess up I can only affect myself I can't affect anyone else whereas if I'm part of the road legends and I say something offensive or I do something stupid or I have a stupid accident, it's gonna have a negative impact on the road legends, and that's not what I want. So I'm quite happy to do my own thing, be stupid, make you all laugh, and whatnot, and yeah. And another thing, just leave Luke alone. It's entirely up to him what he does, it's his life. If he wants to vlog his life, then it's entirely up to him. Do you know what I mean? It's not up to anyone else. If you think it's stupid that he's left the job, and so be it, that's your opinion, happy days, but you might not be slagging him off about it, you know what I mean? And the uh, the Norway trip, the amount of negativity he got over that, and I reckon all that negativity is just jealousy because you've not been invited to it, because who wouldn't? What truck driver wouldn't love to go to Norway and test drive new Scanias? I would, I'd love it. So hopefully in the future, it might be me in that seat, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I have no beef with the road legends, I've no problem with them, but I just don't want to join them for the reasons I have just given. So let them do their own thing. I'm my own person, my own entity, and I will continue to do my own thing. I hope you understand that. I don't I don't mean to be, you know, proper bitchy or anything, but I do get a lot of people messaging me saying, you should join the road legend, you should be a road legend. I already am a road legend, I'm my own road legend my own I believe I am a legend I have to believe in myself that's why I'm doing YouTube because I believe in myself and I believe that I can do as much as I want in this HTV industry I can do whatever I put my mind to because I believe in myself so there we go that's that out of the way so we're off to Blackpool went to Blackpool now and I've just rung up and asked for help because my invoice says ring customer and ask for help. So I have to. I have rung customer and said, can you send someone out to help me around about 11 o'clock? And they said, yep, yeah, no problem, because I've got loads. I've actually got two sheets 
for this place. I've never had two sheets for a delivery before, but I've got a full pallet of screed, which is leveling mixture. I had a baffing screed yesterday to see if it would level me out, and it didn't. No, nope. I've still got bumps and lumps in all the wrong places. Didn't level anything out, so screed's rubbish. Don't use screed on your belly, it don't work. Trust me, tried it. It burns a bit. So we've got a full pallet of screed, we've got about six rolls of laminate, we've got loads of um, edgings. I think I think it said I've got 200 metres of edgings to take off. They're not heavy though, they, they just come in a box, they really like them. So this next delivery is going to be pretty big. Get a load of weight off the back of this truck. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for now. All I've got for now, I'm going to try and keep this vlog simple and straightforward because I've got a busy week, so I'm not going to have hours and hours to edit. It did take me over this period of about three days to edit that, my previous video. Not my questions and answers video, the one before that, uh, the ban from vlogging video. It took me forever, and it's so simple, but cutting things here, there, and everywhere, and colour correcting, and rendering every every single clip, and when I slow mode everything, I had to render the, the entire thing that I did, and, I know I just I just did it in completely the wrong order. You know, I, I need to get more efficient to edit it, but I think I'm slowly discovering that my laptop that was recommended to me at PC World by a professional, when I went in and said, I need a laptop that's capable of editing 4K footage, they took me to this laptop that was 1,200 quid, and he said, this one is like top of the range, it'll be perfect for what you need it for. I don't think it is, I think you were lying to me. I, I want an actual PC. I want a PC with a big box and a big screen because I don't think that the laptop that I've got is actually made for editing because it's um, it's so slow and it keeps crashing especially when I'm doing like 60 frames per second 4k clips and then I put a colour correct over the top of them it just runs like shizny it? it runs like me when I'm on go them do anything. CPU usage goes to 100% and stays like 100% for ages and it just runs like a bag of nails. So yeah, I need to start making more money so I can start upgrading my YouTube and equipment, starting with a camera. Starting with a camera and then and then a new computer. And that's where we're gonna go with that. But yeah, we'll keep this nice and simple this one today. Um, on our way to Blackpool. 25 minutes cracking a lacking a lacking. That's that's Luke C C crack a lacking. 25 minutes to go. I got 25 minutes to go. I got 25 minutes to go. So let me let me know. Let me let me know. I got 25 minutes before I gotta go. Yeah. Talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, so we've just pulled over for our 45 minute break. We're all steaming up because I got wet doing that last delivery. I was there about 45 minutes. I've literally emptied the truck. They had hev hev everything. They had everything off the back. Um, three full pallets of screed and adhesives and some else, some other stuff. Um, yeah, and I've been I've been nominated to do the truck driver chain letter, which was created by Wittering Trucker and truck driver Haley nominated me to do it so that's what I'm going to do right about now and I will put links to Wittering Trucker and truck driver Haley in the description box below so if you've not checked them out go and check them out
Right. So, the truck driver chain letter, it's five questions. And we're trying to get these five questions, well, not we, I'm not, but I am promoting it now. We're trying to get these five questions passed around the HG vlog HGV vlogging industry. So, I'm going to answer these five questions. Question number one, what did I do before driving a truck? Blimey neck, I've done so many different jobs. I started off in college, I wanted to be a reptilian biologist until I was told that there wasn't much chance of me getting a job being a reptilian biologist. So then I went to McDonald's flipping burgers. And then I went to being self-employed working for a company called THL. THL. Um, I was advertising and selling Kirby Hoovers. It was a big scam, but I was too young to understand it. I used to go around in the morning giving out like little lottery ticket kind of things and you could win a whole host of prizes but you couldn't you couldn't win any prizes there was no prizes at all um all you ever won was a free carpet wash so you used to get the person's name number address and the office would ring every single one that accepted one of these lottery tickets and they offered them a free carpet wash whoever accepted it would be like wow yeah free cap wash awesome i would go into their house in the afternoon and wash their carpet with a kirby whilst i was there i was trying to sell the kirby i didn't last very long i worked off commission only i was literally doing 16 hour days i was going canvassing in the morning until dinner time having an hour having an hour's dinner go back to the depot in preston pick up the hoover and then go out canvassing at night until eight nine o'clock ten o'clock at night some nights i used to get 275 quid a sale which sounds good to be fair but i only sold two in three weeks i think so yeah and i was doing thousands of miles i was working all over the country driving around everywhere selling these ubers um and i was too i was too young to understand it was just a scam um after that i went to Formston Evans manufacturing furniture frames for DFS and CSL and I started yeah from a tree to a furniture frame and then we would send it off to Saxon to be upholstered I did that um, then I went working at a different furniture frame manufacturer and I ended up having a scrap with the owner because he put me on um, an apprenticeship and then after the four weeks was up, even though my productivity was through the roof because I knew the job, um, not an apprenticeship. He put me on something where I was on like 80 quid a week for four weeks and he said, it's only for four weeks. I said, right, okay. My productivity was through the roof. Um, I was doing more than what the other lads were doing. And he said he wanted to extend it another four weeks. So basically to save himself money. So I ended up giving him a crack. Um, yeah, and that didn't end well. Um, but that's what I was like when I was younger. I was a tip when I was younger. Um, then I think, I think from there I went working in the chemist with my mum. I think. And I was a pharmacist technician, fully qualified, really good at my job. I enjoyed it, but I got discriminated against because they didn't like the way that I looked and the way that I dressed. So they paid me to leave. So I left. Um, then I went working at Bidvest, I think. If I remember rightly, I went working uh, at yeah, Bidvest 3663 or Bidfood. I worked there for six years. I did every job that there was there. Goods in, goods out. Um, loading trucks, checking, picking, freezer work, replanning, reach truck driving. I did everything there, everything. Uh, I left there and then got into scaffolding. And I did scaffolding for six years, I think. Five years. And now I'm driving. So yeah, that was long-winded, but I'm sure I've done more. I think I've done more jobs. I just can't remember. I've done loads. Uh, what do I currently drive and what is my dream truck? Um, I drive anything because I'm an agency staff. So I drive mainly DAF LFs like this, mainly. But I do drive some DAF CFs. I've drove seven and a half tonners. I've, I've drove all sorts of DAFs and seven and a half tonners. And it's Uzu's. My dream truck is probably the Scania V8. 
probably I really want to drive one of them really want to drive a Scania V8 um, but I'm happy with anything I'm happy with any truck to be honest what do I mostly deliver again with being agency it's a mixture of anything and everything um, I do lintels slates for roofs concrete flooring uh, concrete paving slabs drain pipes fresh fruit and veg laminate flooring screed tacky fire hardener vinyl who else have I drove for can't remember yeah agency deliver anything and everything anything and everything um, question number four who is your biggest influence in the truck vlog community I try not to be influenced by anybody I try I know it sounds daft and it sounds a bit cheesy but I try and I try and do my own thing um, the first vlogger I ever watched was Luke C it was his how much does a HDV license cost that was the first video I ever watched and then I went from Luke to Jay and then obviously the other three road legends um, but it was it was Luke that I watched originally for probably a, a couple of months and then moved on to Jay and then I watched all of Jay's videos binge watched his from close to the start um, yeah but my biggest influencers aren't truck vloggers they're, uh, they're just normal vloggers like uh, Casey Neistat, Pete McKinnon um, Daniel Madison I, I, I watch all of his videos I'm amazed by his creativity he is the most imaginative and creative person that I, I know he's ridiculous I get a lot of stuff from him I try not to copy but I do get a lot of stuff from him um, How to Beast That's he's a really good really good editor um, some of his content's a bit cheesy like but he's good at editing and whatnot. so yeah I try and get my influences away from the truck driving community and then bring in outside influences into my videos to try and make my videos different if that makes sense um, what would I do if I stopped driving trucks probably be the Prime Minister I think or a wrestler I have been called the most electrifying man in the HGV community <laughs> yeah man so yeah I don't, I don't know what I'd do I don't ever plan on leaving driving truck driving truck driving 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 drug, drugs drugs I... <laughs> oh dear I plan on doing this for a long time a long long time um, I might go into teaching truck driving later on in life um, yeah I think I'm a pretty good driver I've not had any bumps yet I did get asked that question if I had any bumps nope not had any bumps yet not had any near misses I've had people pulling out on me and whatnot. but yeah that's to be expected so if I were to stop driving trucks I would be a truck trainer which would still involve driving I'd either be the Prime Minister or a wrestler so in other words I ain't never going to stop driving trucks I ain't never going to be them yeah so that's that uh, number the five questions I nominate Trucker Jenko to do it next keep the truck driving chain letter going keep asking the questions keep nominating people and let's just see how far it goes so yeah I think if if I nominate Jenko and Jenko actually does it then I think that it might make this a little bit bigger It'll get it around a little bit more. That's why. That's that's what I'm thinking up here anyway. So if Genko does it, I think other people might notice and other people might join in. But we'll see. So if you subscribe to Genko, let him know that I have nominated him to do the truck driver chain letter created by Wittering Trucker and followed on by all us lot. Thank you very much for nominating me, Haley. Much love. Much love. I hope you're still enjoying your job. Hope you are. So now, dinner time. What crazy skit has he got today? Nothing. Nothing. We're going nice and easy with dinner today. We're sticking up with the wabbit food. Want to be a wabbit? We're sticking up with that. But I'm having just some normal grub today. Nothing. Nothing fancy. 
show you. I'll show you. Well, this is what we're having for dinner today. Let I. It's what we're having. It's supposed to be really good for you. Really not. I can't believe I just done that. Oh, oh man. I have one. Oh, fuck. Fair. Oh. oh, man. Well, that's that gone completely down the pan. Oh. I was thinking. Oh god, I was thinking of saying loads of funny stuff and that's just got out the pan because that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh no. Right, no, forget that. Forget that. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some sheep or something and <laughs> I'm gonna find some sheep and do them in. I'm not I'm gonna give them the lettuce. Oh, I can't believe I've just done that. What an absolute idiot. Oh my lord. <laughs> Do you know what's even more stupid? <laughs> I've not even bought anything else. I only went to Tesco's and bought that. <laughs> what an absolute tit. <laughs> oh god. Well, I, <laughs> I'm going to sit here now in the middle of a bloody building estate with two fields on either side of me. <laughs> I'm going to sit here for another 40 minutes. How long? Recording 15 minutes. So I'm going to... I'm going to be sat here another half an hour now with nothing to do. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, God, I tell you, brains were dynamite. I wouldn't have enough at blow my nose. <laughs> oh, we've got... Um, we've got two deliveries left in a, in a collection. I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> Peace out. All right, geezers, we're at our last drop now, and we've got a really, really tight reverse to do. I know, I know you guys say that some of my reverses aren't tight, and you know, I don't know what a tight reverse is and all that. Well, this one is super, super tight, so I thought I'd take you in. With it being my last drop, I'll take you with me. I've got to go down this business park now, this proper tight little, little road like. Um, but yeah, we've, we've nearly finished, we're here, so all is well. I think it's this guy in this van gonna go. I think they're just tapping up some bifters, by the looks of it. I could do with him going, just to give me a bit more room, to be honest with you. I could really do with the room. I don't think he's gonna go, is he? I don't think he's gonna go. So we're just, we're, we're gonna have to go for it, we're gonna have to squeeze. We're gonna have to suck in and squeeze. gonna lie I got a bit I got a bit nervous on that one I think at one point I only had about 16 foot of clearance to my right which was a bit of a scary one that one bit of a scary one but we've we've made it with squaws in with with some, wow look at that for a view I don't know what the GoPro is gonna make of that view but that is that is gorgeous Gorgeous man. But I'm I'm gonna leave this plug here actually because I'm only gonna I've got a collection to do, which is a roll of vinyl, and then 
um, and then I'm going back to the yard. So I've drove from Blackburn, Blackpool over here to Blackburn. I'm going to drop this roll of vinyl off here and then go to a collection on the way back to the M65. And then from there, it's the M65 right back into Haywood. So it's half past two. I should be done for half past three or so. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry I've not got the microphone plugged in at the moment. It's the GoPro one, so it might sound a bit naff. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and drop me a comment to let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.